Well, I was very keen to go to um, Af Afghanistan. Uh, I'd worked, I'd, I'd been ambassador in, in East Timor uh, just after independence and, and had worked closely uh, with the UN peacekeeping forces then and, um, and very much saw the, the, um, the link between um, you know, governance uh, and, and security. I thought that was something uh, we did reasonably well in East Timor. People say we did it well uh, in, uh, uh, in, in the Solomon Islands, and I thought following the government's announcement of a significant I in increase in the uh, civilian contribution from 2009, uh, there was a, you know, th that, w that was what was required in, in Afghanistan, and I thought I could make a contribution to that and was, was very keen to be a part of it. Kabul was a, a, a kind of bustling boom town. Um, that it was slowly improving uh, its, its infrastructure, but you know, still had a long way to go. A, a land of checkpoints, a land of high T walls. Uh, there were attacks from time to time, so you know, your life would be disrupted and, and locked down if there was a if there was an incident. Um, and it was it was very intense, uh, as well as working with the normal diplomatic community. You. You, know, you worked with the, the military there with, with ISAF uh, and um, you know, generally you know, the, the, the most pertinent fact about life in Kabul as a diplomat was its restrictions. You, you lived within high walls, you didn't see the sky very often uh, and you know, your, your, movements, your movements were restricted but it was absorbing and, and fascinating and I, I don't think too many people didn't like it. Our living and working conditions they they improved uh, during the, the time of the, the, the that I was there, but um, you know were, were pretty pretty tough. Um, generally, you, you you lived and worked on on top of each other, uh, so you saw a lot of your colleagues, uh, and you you had to you had to get on with them. Diplomatic life in Kabul was uh, uh, absorbing, uh, fascinating, uh, interesting, uh, and uh, generally pretty tiring uh, a as well. There was a, a, a very strong sense of camaraderie uh, in Kabul between all of the members of the international community, bearing in mind that you know, the, the, the coalition that's supporting Afghanistan is the widest coalition uh, since, since World War II. Afghanistan was, uh, you know, it was a, was, it was a counter Counterinsurgency, so it, you know, there was a, a, a need for a, a whole of government uh, response, particularly uh, in Orizgan. Um, but that, that, and we were able to achieve that successfully, uh, I think. So that the civilian contribution, um, the the the, DFA, the foreign affairs, and the uh, Ozaid civilians, and also the work that the the police are able to do uh, on the ground, uh, shouldn't be forgotten in the. Uh, in the wider telling uh, of the story. The whole of government role was based on the, the campaign plan of ISAF uh, with three lines of operation, development, governance and military. I've worked with Australian soldiers in uh, East Timor, uh, um, a very short time uh, in, in Iraq and now in Afghanistan. I think uh, the Australian military um, is admired uh, on the ground uh, for its flexibility, uh, its its low key approach, and its its ability to um, to you know to solve solve problems. They have a um, a kind of a low key, no nonsense approach that that that, that goes across uh, well. And uh, you know if um, you know if push comes to shove and, um, and and there is a you know there is a need uh, to to fight, they are they are regarded as as good fighters. The importance of the, the non-military uh, aspects of, of the lines of operation uh, were, were very important uh, in Afghanistan simply because the, uh, you know, the campaign from you know, 2008, 2009 uh, was a, a counterinsurgency and it's often said that in a counterinsurgency you know, the, the political to the military is 80-20. You know, um, so it was it was always known that this was a war that couldn't be won by uh, by killing all the enemy. You had to build up the legitimacy of the 
uh, of of the Afghan government, uh, and that you know that requires uh, weapons weapons that don't shoot. Australia had uh, civilians um, in in the PRT from 2009 when it was run by the Dutch, and then uh, from August 2010 uh, when we when we ran it. Um, I, I think the t together we achieved uh, a, 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 a reasonably uh, significant amount. We helped the government uh, in Orizgan build up its capacity uh, from a very low base. We helped them develop projects and, and deliver projects. Uh, we, were, we encouraged them to promote tribal balance uh, and to have people work together because ex excluding particular groups was a, a driver uh, uh, of the insurgency. And I think we also worked effectively to ensure that Orozgan was, was on the map uh, for the central government uh, in Kabul. I think we had some good success uh, in, in having some good, good people appointed down there. We, they, didn't always, they didn't always stay. But I think overall the quality of government uh, in Orozgan was you know, much improved by the efforts of Australia, including in our... Uh, provincial reconstruction team. Like everyone in, in Orozgan, the civilians in the provincial reconstruction team or people who were visiting, uh, you know, were, were at risk. Uh, it's, uh, Orozgan was suffering an active insurgency. Um, it was a, you know, a very kinetic environment. Uh, violent, violent acts uh, did happen. You know, the tribal dynamic in, in Afghanistan is important because it just un underlies the whole uh, uh, you know, system, particularly in the, the Pashtun uh, areas. And that also applied uh, in, in Orozgan, um, where the, the tribal politics were, you know, particularly uh, vicious uh, and, and particularly fractured, um, uh, uh, overlaid by the experiences of uh, of, of 30 years of war. The, the main challenge in, uh, in working with the, uh, with, with the Afghan government was just recognising, uh, as, as they recognised, that you know, the country was suffering the effects of, of 30 years of war. So you know, there were 30 years where the best and the brightest often weren't in the country, where there'd been, uh, there'd, there'd been no, no education. Uh, and so you know, the, the government that has been built up is, is really only a, a, a you know, a 10-year-old um, process, a 10-year-old experiment. Uh, it's, it's, still a, it's still very much a work in progress. Security has improved um, significantly. Uh, some infrastructure has, has been built, uh, albeit from, from a low base. There are services there now, schools, hospitals, health centres, uh, that, that didn't exist uh, uh, before then. And, and the people want them. They have an expectation that those services uh, will, will continue to be delivered. So, you know, there is no going back to what, what applied uh, before uh, 2001. And that, you know, that, that picture applies nationally uh, as, as well as uh, in Orozgan. Um, the, the systems are still nascent and they're, they're still being... Uh, worked out so lots of informal systems uh, uh, are, are still are still a fact, and, and of course uh, you know corruption is a is, is a major issue which the Afghan government itself recognises and knows it's a a major threat to its own um, uh, its its own legitimacy. Australia's reputation in uh, Afghanistan more widely and and Orozgan um, uh, in, more specifically. Uh, it was it was a good reputation. Uh, one used to hear from Afghan officials from President Karzai down that Australia had had come a long way, uh, and, and we must have come to help. Uh, we weren't regarded as having an axe to grind. Um, the 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 development assistance and the uh, that that we gave was regarded as as high quality. Uh, the the the, the conduct of, of the Australian soldiers was uh, was very highly uh, regarded. I think Australia, uh, when it when it leaves Orozgan, can can do so in, in the you know in the safe knowledge that our, our efforts there are well regarded and well respected.